as a kind of on here. I'm going to write it again. Eta. Eta. I'm going to write it again. Eta. Eta. And this is Eta in Greek. The capital letter of Eta. You can see the capital letter. So maybe you draw a line here. Draw a line here. We'll draw a line here. So this is, you can see it's like the English letter H. And it represents E. E, long E. No, this is epsilon. This is E. But this is long E. 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 So, this is eta. Eta. Then you have theta. 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 So let's draw the line. You have theta. Many people are quite conversant with this theta. So this is the way to write theta. It's not hard. Theta. Theta. I'm going to clean it and write it again. Theta. 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 Like what many people call theta. So this is the small letter. And this is the capital letter. It's quite big, and you can see this thing in the middle. It's quite big, and this thing, I'm going to clean and write it again. Actually, you don't have much to do with the capital letters. We are just doing it for um, custom sake. You get, but please try to learn this very well. And if you learn this, it's bonus to you. But this is what we'll really be dealing with through our course of study. Now, this is theta, the capital letter, and it represents the letter th. CH. Remember, now let's start from the beginning now. Let's start reading from the beginning. You have alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta. So we would have to clean this. Now we've learned eight letters and we have 16 more letters to go. And please you be determined you can do it. It's not something that is very, very. So the next letter is iota. We've learned alpha to theta. Now next letter is iota. Iota. Something you'd have heard before. There is no iota of truth in what she's saying. What she's saying. So iota. Now the small letter is I. 